but not Harry Price. He's the man who puts the kibosh on the spirit. This eerie weasel, as I thought he might be, then began to keep us awake at night by blowing, spitting and growling behind the matchboard partition of the lower rooms. I am a ghost in the form of a weasel, and I shall call There are no spooks here. Noises. Nothing that's happened is supernatural. I'm being worried to death by crowds of people visiting the place. Come in, I'll tell you about it. In October, I and my daughter caught the first glimpse of the beast. It was a little animal, resembling a stoat, a ferret or a weasel, yellow in colour, with a body about nine I'm inches afraid. long. I have hands and I have its long bushy tail is speckled with black. It's thin, and could get through a very small hole. It appears in the house from time to time, and I made attempts to catch Jack. In about November, we first heard a strange voice coming from behind the woodwork, singing sentences of songs and hymns. Early in 1932, my daughter and I were alone in the house, broad daylight. I saw, to my surprise, a very large cat, striped like a tiger. I thought, this is no ordinary cat. So I slipped a cartridge into my single barrel gun. The cat was a little ahead of me, but easily within range, and it turned through an open gateway into a grass field. I was there a few seconds behind. I fully expected to see the cat, but no cat could be seen, look as I liked. I detailed my experiences to my wife when I returned that night. When Jeff called out, it was me you saw, Jim, 